there. We hope you enjoyed last week's video which looked at massage techniques and stretches for the hands and the arms. This week we wanted to look at massage oil and some of the oils that we find best. All of the techniques that we've demonstrated so far work perfectly fine without the use of any oil, so this is just if you wanted to add an extra element to your home massage routine. There are certain oils which, as well as helping with overall relaxation, have nutritional benefits for the body and the skin and work as really great moisturisers too. The first thing to mention when we're thinking about using oils on our skin is that, in our opinion, we actually think you should avoid petroleum or mineral-based oils. Now, obviously, this is your own choice, but we're just going to highlight a few reasons why we think they should be avoided if possible. One of the main reasons is that experts believe that this type of oil can't be metabolised by the body, and they also believe that these types of oil contain a certain amount of toxins, and therefore if the body can't metabolise this oil, then these toxins remain within the system. A second reason is that they consider this oil to be what they call occlusive. Now this means that it forms like a, a cling film like shield on top of the skin which prevents anything going in or out of the skin such as water and air and anything else and this can lead to problems such as blocked pores and the lack of function, proper function of the skin and irritation and all sorts. So again, that doesn't doesn't feel like it's particularly natural for the skin's function. And finally, we don't really consider this type of oil to have much nutritional benefit for the skin. So in a minute we're going to talk about plant-based oils and the benefits that they can they can bring to your skin and the health of your body and we don't really think mineral or petroleum based oils contain many of these benefits. So let's have a look at what we'd recommend. We find that the best type of oil for the body is plant-based and where possible it's best to buy organic. The only caveat with this is that it does go off a lot faster than mineral based oils. So buy in small quantities and just pop your oil in the fridge to extend its shelf life. Examples of plant based oil include sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, avocado oil, wheat germ oil and coconut oil. Now looking at some of the benefits of these plant based oils, let's start off with sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is an absolute favourite for massage therapists and one of the main reasons is because it is so good for the skin. It is packed full of vitamin E. Now vitamin E is really amazing at cell regeneration, therefore keeping the skin super soft, super healthy and it also protects against UV radiation. Sweet almond oil also contains loads of fatty acids, so the fatty acids help to retain the moisture within the skin, so really moisturise the skin and make the skin feel lovely and soft. Another oil that also contains loads and loads of fatty acids is sunflower oil. Sunflower oil also has vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, which are all powerful antioxidants and again, really good for the body. If you're looking for an oil that will help with itchy or irritated skin or chapped skin perhaps, a great one to use is avocado oil. Avocado oil actually contains anti-inflammatory elements and this really helps to calm down the skin. It is however quite a thick heavy oil so therefore it's probably best applied when you have a bit of time to let it soak in say after a bath or when you're not doing much in the evening. My personal favourite, however, is the unassuming grapeseed oil. You can apply a few drops of your favourite essential oil to grapeseed oil, or another oil if you prefer, but this one, as I said, is, is lovely to add essential oil to. But please, if you can, try and buy organic or natural essential oils because you'll get the quality and nothing uh, synthetic, you'll get natural. And remember to check that you don't have any allergies to a specific essential oil before using it. And if you are pregnant, there are some essential oils that you should avoid. So if you are unsure about any of that, please consult your GP or health provider just to double check. And enjoy 
experimenting. So this is just a quick look at some of the oils you might fancy trying. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop us an email at pummelandneed at gmail.com or reach out to us across any of our social media platforms. Our next video will look at the hips and the lower back. Take care and see you soon.